London, Britain, the great UK. These are not all the same place, uh, but I won't get into that. What I will get into is the amazing stops, experiences, and food that you must try in London in 2021. Of course, only if you are vaccinated, traveling safely, and must have traveled for work like us. I've now become a head of wine. Just kidding, it's still me. We made it. Woo. We're in London. Wow. See the brick? Crazy. We're here. That's it. We've been walking around, walked through the Pete Theater District, took you down to the bridge to see the London LA. And now we are at Gordon's Wine Bar. It's pretty neat. We're getting some cheese and some non alcoholic wine from Spa. First stop, Gordon's Wine Bar. Gordon's is the oldest wine bar in the world, sitting on the edge of the banks of the River Thames. I hope I'm saying that right. Is it Thames? Thames? Oh, sorry. You can find yourself seated in an almost underground cave with the best pairings of wine and cheese. All those cheeses. Okay, so we got black truffle, good, and manchengo. How's your wine? Just no, <laughs> no more chef's kisses in the video for the rest of the oh, trip. Remember how bad I was at navigating the subways in New York? Well, the tube in London is nothing like it. It was so clean and easy to navigate, and we rode the subway now, now many times while we were success. Turns. Next on your list has to be Box City. Jared and I fell in love with this place. The idea is simple. Shipping containers stacked on top of each other with multiple eateries per container with shops on the bottom floor. So night two, we kind of got on a bus, got lost, and ended up at the Box Park. Box Park. In Shoreditch. Great. It was great. Like Jared went for a beer. Everything's super oh. smart. That would be really great. Like, first place, Rainbow. And we got with the gyoza. Tons of outdoor seating, tons of drinks, tons of ways to meet new people while traveling. Highlights include a Nashville hot chicken sandwich and these homemade churros. And if you're a single lady, the Box City sits right next to a football field, or soccer as we like to call it, with tons of hot dudes running around with their shirts off. Ted Lasso would be so proud. When we had a few free hours between activities, instead of going back to our Airbnb and risking falling asleep and perpetuating that jet lag, we stopped into Flight Club, a cute darts bar. This place is awesome. The darts machines are fully modernized to track points and play games all while videoing your reactions via a tiny camera in the board. It made for such an energizing and unique experience and they even have little drinks and snacks for you to order. If you're all about the restaurant vibes like me, then you have to visit Sketch Restaurant. Sketch is an 18th century townhouse that has been converted into a dreamland tea house with various rooms and themes that will make you feel like you're in Alice in friggin' Wonderland. Make reservations so you can choose which room and experience you want to have. The glade where we ate is just that, an everglade of forest and lake with lunch theme plates to match the decor. The gallery is the famous pink room serving you high tea and velvet vibes. And let me just say this, you definitely don't want to miss the bathrooms here. Good morning, London day three. First of all, can we just take a moment to appreciate my eyeliner? It's a very exciting moment. Why, Jared? English breakfast. <laughs> if you didn't understand what he meant by that, we're going to take Jared to get his very first official English breakfast. Full, English breakfast. proper English breakfast. We, uh, we love, we eat that in LA all the time, wherever we can get it. Uh, and we're going to a very famous spot that apparently does it right. They don't allow substitutions. They're very, like, traditional. It's called the Paula. Let's go. <laughs> Parlor restaurant is something I saw on Top Jaw's YouTube video, and it's on this cute little quiet English street. And it is just the cutest thing I'll ever see. Of all the places in the world, there's no better country to fry up an English breakfast or fry up like England. And the Parlor Kensal is one of the best. 
Barafina ended up being one of the food highlights of the trip. I highly recommend making a reservation to sit at the bar so you can watch the small team of chefs work together like an intricate machine to pop out delicious and hearty tapas at the speed of light. Look who finally arrived. Canty boy, Janny girl, joining us on a European adventure. And now we are currently at Barafina, which is a very cool open kitchen restaurant. We've been trying to get in here for the last two days. Check out these specials. Look at this menu. Did you guys eat your drink yet? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and we're about to eat our faces off. You made a noise I haven't heard from. What if God was in one of us? Because I just ate it. I ate God. Kendra hasn't <laughs> slept in more than 72 hours. I just want to clarify that for this video. <laughs> Time for a bonus stop. I know this is not England. A quick stop in Stockholm, Sweden. We weren't there long enough to make a whole vlog about the city, so I just wanted to share the highlights quickly with you. Our Michelin rated dinner at Gastrologic was one of a kind. We knew tickets were $200 per person, and that was before we got full of ourselves and added on the drinks and juices package. The total ended up being around $400 per person, making this by far the most money I have ever spent on food in my life. But, and I can't believe I'm saying this, it was worth it. Gastrologic focuses on showcasing the best of Sweden's food, getting daily deliveries from all over this beautiful country, giving farm to table a totally new meaning. And you can't go to Sweden without trying meatballs. I'm not sure where or when or why they became so famous in Sweden, but all I know is IKEA really stepped up the flavor meatball game and I knew I had to try them in the motherland. Meatballs for the People is known to be the best spot for meatballs in Stockholm because of their mixtures of meat from cow, sheep, lamb, and even get this, reindeer. I had a blast trying the different flavors and ate all eight. I ate all eight. Where will we go next? You're gonna have to stay tuned for next week's vlog as we travel to some more amazing places to try out some more amazing things. Where should we go next? <laughs>